So Cincy released a bunch of new scents for their spring summer 2012 catalog. This is my third time trying to make this video because the other two will not upload to YouTube because they're too large or I don't know, they're not as long as 10, 15 minutes or something. But anyway, third time the charm. I'm gonna have to do this really fast. I'm not gonna get any kind of descriptions or anything to you guys. I'm just gonna go through it because I'm tired. It is 11 o'clock at night. Gotta get ready for bed. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna just show you all the scents. Linger. This was a scent of the month and they threw this into the romance collection. It's really nice. I recommend it. Tangelo. It's a very light citrusy kind of scent. Um, I am not crazy about citrus scents, but that one I actually do like. Jumpin' Jelly Bean. This was weird to me at first only because I couldn't understand what was in it, but it turns out there's a lot of pear in it and it smells really good now to me. Very strong, you only need one cube. Midnight Fig, this is either a hit or miss with most people. Um, I didn't like it at first because someone told me it smelled like dirt. Uh, I like it now because I warmed up to it and it's very nice, it's very musky and it has fig in it, it's not sweet. Um, you may want to read the description before you go and buy it, but I do recommend it. Beach, really nice, everyone loves this one has coconut in it. It reminds me of going to the pool or the beach and suntan lotion and all kinds of stuff. So, hmm. Enliven. Um, I love this one because it reminds me of whenever I was 12 or 13, I used Pantene Pro-V and I swear this smells just like it. Gosh. Love it. I hope this one uploads. I swear I'll be so upset. Sugar is really, really nice, and this also reminds me of the provocative um, lotion and perfume from Elizabeth Arden. I used to wear that when I was like 12 or 13, and it takes me back to that time, so I love it. Lemon Coconut Chiffon. This was one of the bakery scents. I love this. It smells exactly like sweet lemon pound cake. You can almost smell the buttercream frosting. Mm, it's delicious. Zeppelin. This is part of the man scents. I am so ready to send this to my dad because he bought the Hendrix one and now I can have Zeppelin. It actually smells really good. So um, it reminds me of like a My Dear, no, no, not My Dear Watson. Um, I don't know, but this one reminds me of My Dear Watson. Are You Into Me? They put this in the romance collection, but I think it belongs in the man, the Cincy man collection. This is, like manly in the sense of the way Simply Irresistible is kind of manly. Um, Two Harbors is also citrusy, but it has vanilla in it, so it's not like overwhelming fruitiness going on. It's very nice. It's a brand new one too. Pixie. This was the scent of the month for February. Um, I really like this one and I highly recommend it. I ordered a bar of it along with the pink pepper and I can't wait to mix it and try it, so I might do a video on that later. Honeydew. This is definitely my top five in all of these scents. Um, <laughs> love it. Um, if you like any kind of cucumber melon or honeydew or cantaloupe or something like that, you're really going to like that one. The next pile are the ones that I wasn't really crazy about. Yuzu Dragon, only because it really reminds me of the Febreze. Um, I think it's dragon fruit or passion fruit air spray or candle that they have. I wasn't crazy about it. It smells just like that. Um, use a dragon. Red candy apple. Um, it was almost too artificial smelling for me. It definitely does smell like um, candy apple though. So if you like that, that's for you. Lennox and violets. It was too little, a little bit too perfumey for me. Uh, it reminds me of some kind of bath bath foam, bath bomb, something, bath beads or something that I used to have and it didn't smell very good. Awakening smells exactly like ivory soap to me. So <laughs> I um, probably wouldn't want my house to smell like that. That's why I didn't recommend it. Mm, simply strawberry. Same exact reason. It kind of smells a little artificial, but it does smell like strawberry shortcake. Um, the ingredients aren't in there, but it smells exactly like the sensation of whenever you're actually eating strawberry shortcake with the pound cake and the whipped cream and stuff, even though it's not in the ingredients. Mums and Marigolds smells just like sunflowers to me. Um, I would recommend it, um, but I'm just not into that kind of scent. So, Cherry Limeade, 
Um, I wasn't crazy about this one only because it's almost too strong. It smells exactly like the Sonic Cherry Slushy. I mean, exactly like I feel like I'm drinking it whenever I smell this. Yeah. And someone else said it smells like the sensation of opening a box of Fruit Loops and that fresh, powdery, fruity, artificial scent comes up in your nose. I do get that from that scent. So um, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but Lona Sara, Lona Sara, something like that. Um, it's not bad. It's just really light. It's a very light, perfumey smell. Actually, I do kind of recommend this one. It's nice. It's just, you know, I like bakery scents. So, you know, uh, Lush Gardenia. I don't really know what this smells like. I'm not even going to try it. Smells like, all I can say is I want to hug my grandmother whenever I smell this one just because it smells like her, but it's almost too much of a grandmommy smell. <laughs> I'm trying to fit anybody out there. I want to hug her when I smell it, I promise, but Surfer Chick, it's nice, but until I figured out what it really smells like, it smells like the um, Teen Spirit deodorant. I used to use it whenever I was like in junior high and after PE, you get that smell where you like you smell the deodorant and then you smell your body odor at the same time. That's what this smells like to me, but to you guys, you may like it. So you have completely different opinions and you're entitled to them. So that was my very short little recommendations of the brand new scents. I really wish I could upload those other videos because I went into a little bit more depth, but I'm going to keep this one short. Anyway, well, if you guys have any questions about anything or if you want me to send you samples or if you want me to send you a catalog, I would be more than happy to. Just send me your information to my email and then you can visit my website as well. So like I said, it'll be all down here. So I'll see you guys in the next video.